I am back and we've got some amazing ingredients here and a beautiful dish. So we've got EXO noodles and mm. roasted lamb cutlets. We've got this beautiful French lamb lac. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tongue twister, isn't it? We've got the cap on, so we're going to roast that. We're going to cut them individually uh, so it cooks really fast. Loads of flavours on there. Mm. And then we're going to make some nice simple noodles with some EXO sauce as well, which is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, you're excited about that sauce. Oh, I, I am excited about this sauce. And the best thing about this sauce, they're using uh, New Zealand Power. Oh, brilliant. We'll tell you more about that. Just some of the exhibitors at the Auckland Food Show. So that is coming up very soon and you can learn how to make this incredible dish and we're going to learn more about the Auckland Food Show as well a little later on. Great to have you back in the Beko Kitchen, Mark, although it was fun having Annabelle here for the last couple of mornings and she's a big fan of the Food Show, which I know you are as well. Definitely, I'm looking forward to that this week. Yeah, and today we're going to be showcasing a couple of the exhibitors in the show this morning by using sauces from Good Chow and Lamb from Home Grow and Farm Fresh Meat. So this dish looks exciting. Let's get going. Brilliant, right, so we've got an Asian dish, so we've got EXO noodles with the powers we talked about before, yep. and then this beautiful uh, French lamb rack. Nice. Uh, so we're going to marinate this now, so I want you to grate some ginger and garlic okay. into a bowl. Cool, done, done Got chef. a little bit of brown sugar, some soy, and some black vinegar as well. And then that is going to be uh, a marinade for our lamb, mm. so it's going to take it out of the packet. Home growing, farm fresh. And Dion and Ali, they put a lot of thought into their meat. You know, you know exactly where it's coming from. They put their name to it. Fantastic to be using that this morning. And it's great, and it's all done for you. You know, it's all French. So that means, um, you know, all your bones are clean, so all the meat's been taken out and all the fat's there. Oh, it's, like all, it's ready to go in the pan, roast, and put through the oven. So you can leave it as a whole um, cutlet if you want to roast it which is really nice, you know, get the uh, fat nice and crispy. Or for this recipe, what we're going to do is little cutlets. So all we need to do is just cut between the bones and you get these beautiful lamb cutlets. So they're really tasty. Obviously, go the side of the bone, don't go through the bone. <laughs> I saw the box just, had arrived in too, and it arrived as a whole lamb all cut up and ready for us, oh, isn't it's, it? Yeah, it's absolutely Brilliant. fantastic, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you get all different uh, cuts of meats. So obviously we've chosen this one today. Really, really, really simple, and it cooks really, really fast. Nice, we like that. There right, so put the rest, of, that, yeah, chef? rest of the ingredients in here. Nice. Brown sugar. Brown sugar, black vinegar. Black vinegar. A little bit of soy. Nice. Right, mix all that around. Thank you. And then pop the lamb in. So minimum about half an hour, you know, get the flavours in there. Um, if you want, you know, give it an hour, give it two hours. Uh, the vi black vinegar is quite strong, so, um, you well, know. It smells good, though. So after, after a couple of hours, I mean, it, you know, that's plenty. Look at these but, beautiful but half an hour is, is, is great. Oh, my goodness. Right, so just let it, if you're going to do it for half an hour, just let it, um, just marinate at room temperature. Not okay. somewhere hot, just somewhere cool, but leave it out of the fridge. Mm -hmm. And then that's going to cook our lamb nice and uh, fast. Nice right, I've got our noodles. So I've got rice noodles, so they're getting yep. dried. So you can, if you can get fresh ones, get fresh ones. If not, just cook them. Uh, till they're nice and soft, drain them off, uh, rinse them under cold water to cool them down and get that excess starch off. And that's what I've got in here. And now we're going to marinate these noodles. Right, so I've got this beautiful EXO sauce. You want to try some? Oh, that smells amazing, doesn't it? So, so you've got dried uh, scallops, dried shrimps in there, and then obviously the uh, what we talked about before, that you've got the dried power in there as well. Nice. So that makes it sort of a unique New Zealand ingredient. Right, I've got a little bit of uh, sambal in there. That's like a chilli paste, your favourite? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> some oyster sauce, I've got some dark soy, I've got some normal soy, some um, Chinese wine. Nice. And some sesame oil as well. So that all goes in there and we're just going to mix all that and we're going to marinate these noodles as well. Nice. So if you do this first, they can be marinating. Uh, lamb's marinating. So we'll just pretend we've uh, done that. For a half an <laughs> yeah, hour, we've done it for half an hour. Jason, yeah. <laughs> I can cool smell that good chow sauce, uh, that that power sauce, oh. made in New Zealand. A brilliant product, uh, and you can meet the team at the food show. And it is a flavour maker. I you bet know, you all love you need it. to do. Bet oh, you yeah, I can't, I can't wait. I love going <laughs> to the food show because I get to eat everything, try everything, <laughs> research and development. Right, hot griddle pan. Yes, because we've got these beautiful cutlets here. What we're going to do is we're going to start on the fat side. Mm -hmm. so just pop it in, they're nice and thick so they'll just sit there yep. and we want to get a little bit of colour and start rendering a little bit of that fat down. Is that why you do the fat side first? Yeah, and okay, that's, cool. that's going to give us some nice flavour and then we won't be chewing on just fat. So there's your secret to a uh, nice beautiful roast lamb. And then once we've got a little bit of sort of crispness on there, the fat's rendered down, we're going to flip them over one to two minutes on both sides, take them out, let them rest, they'll be nice and pink and really fast. 
Brilliant. Okay, nice. Everything is smelling nice here. Fantastic. Using produce from the Auckland Food Show. We are here in the Beko Kitchen. We are using some of the produce that you will see at the Auckland Food Show if you're heading along this weekend. But you can have this food delivered to your door, really. Especially this lamb that we are using. Mark, it's looking fantastic. So It is, it is ready. It's resting. Isn't it great? Homegrown farmfreshmeats.co.nz. They've got lots of different boxes. And what I like about this is you can follow their farm on Instagram and Facebook so you know exactly where their meat is coming from. And it all arrives ready for you to go. Looks beautiful, tastes even better. And we've been zhuzhing it up a little bit, haven't we? Zhuzhing, <laughs> chefifying. Chefifying. Now okay. we're keeping it simple. Yes. Nice, beautiful. Right. Lamb cutlets done. What are we working on now? Right, so we're going to make the exo noodles now. So hot okay. wok, a yep. little bit of smoked bacon goes in there. Cool. So you stir fry that on a really high heat because it's going to, won't, well, it won't take long. It's going to be really fast. Fantastic. So give that a minute or so. Get some colour on there. Yep. Get it cooking. I've got some shallot as well, which I'm just finally slicing. Ginger as well, just do a nice julienne. I'm going to slice the garlic as well, really fine. So sharp knife and just take your time, get it nice and fine so it all cooks even. Nice work. And right. you're a chef, Mark. You know, you work with a lot of different sauces. Yep. This good chow sauce, it is beautiful, especially that soy sauce, isn't it? It's so it's so refined. And you're saying you're taking it off the first press as well, so it's 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 almost lighter, but not in flavour. There's so much flavour in there, but it's lighter and cleaner and, and more refreshing. Nice. It's interesting. Yes. Try it. Go to the food show and try it. Well, no, and you're a man that knows about your sauce. I had a little teaspoon before and it it's absolutely beautiful. And Good Chow, also responsible for our Blackfoot Power sauce that we are using here today. Very unique. The only type of sauce in its kind in the world. I know. And, and it's great. And you can get it here in New Zealand. Oh, which I think love it. fantastic. So go and try that as well. Nice. Right. So it's all stir fried. You can smell all those air. Aromats coming out. I can. Smells great. Right, so the um, the marinated noodles. Mm -hmm. Remember what was in there? Yes, we used the Blackfoot Power Sauce. Yep, and some other things. <laughs> and some other that's, things. That's <laughs> the most important. Yeah, some size and uh, oyster sauce in there. That goes in there as well, so stir fry all that together. Okay, cool. Oh gosh. Right, I've got a, I've got an egg as well, which we're just going to whip up. That's going to go in last minute. I've got some bean sprouts as well. They go in there. Nice little bit of crunch. And it's smelling so good, Chef. So all we're doing now, because the noodles are cooked and they're all marinated, I mean, look at that flavour, you know, they've taken on all that sauce in the noodles. Woo this is so exciting. So once that is hot, uh, beat an egg, right, stir this through. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, break it all up. Oh, I didn't think of putting the egg in there. there yeah, you just go. something different, a bit of protein in as well. A little bit of uh, spring onion, finely chopped to finish. Oh, goodness, this is looking so good. <laughs> and... And what I'm going to do, so you just get, you just want to get that warm again, get that egg cooked. So very last minute with the egg, I'm going to put another little splash of this soy sauce in. Mm. And as soon as that is warm, that is ready to go. Look how fast that was. And Brilliant. And all those flavours in the noodles, and that is packed full of flavour. Mm. And we've got the lamb there, which is resting. resting. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. And remember, the Auckland Food Show starts this Thursday at the ASB Showgrounds, where you can go and see the team of Good Chow and Homegrown Fresh Farm Meat. For all the details, go to the website, foodshow.co.nz. This is not embarrassing. This is amazing, Look Mark. That. Wait till you try that. Oh, I can't wait. OK, what are you doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got two goodies. We're going to make a best bacon butty sandwich, and we've got a pear tart to town with vanilla bean ice cream.